Hi, I'm Erica Gamet with InDesign Secrets, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get color and color combinations from the real world into your InDesign documents. First, you'll need the free Adobe Capture app for your mobile device. You can get that through the App Store or Google Play. The app lets you capture a lot of things like patterns, shapes, and colors. I'm going to use the app to capture colors from some items on my desktop. The first thing you'll want to do is open up the Adobe Capture app. Now you may be brought to the screen with all your themes on it. You may also be brought to the last place you were in the app if you were using it before. In this case, I'm looking at a library full of color themes. Down at the bottom, I have the option to use an existing photo or to take a live photo. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the live photo option. And it's going to keep showing different colors that are available in the shot that it's taking with my camera. And as I move around, it tries to add colors to it. And that's kind of annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tap on the screen and then that freezes that image. So then I can work with the colors a little more easily. Once that's frozen, I can drag those colors around and just slide them on top of colors that I'd like. And I can see the colors changing in the squares up above. And I'm just going to move around till I find some colors I like and get that yellow that's there. And it's not quite as yellow as I'd like it to be, but I can make changes to that. And we'll do that in just a second. When I've got the colors I like, I'm going to tap the little check at the bottom of the screen. And that's going to bring me into the color mixer. I can tap on each of those individual colors and I can adjust the sliders. I'm going to go ahead and do that with the yellow because it wasn't yellow enough for me. I'm going to tap on it and I'm just going to drag the slider a little bit more, make it a little brighter yellow. And when I like it, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. It's going to go ahead and give it a generic name and it's going to ask which Creative Cloud library I want to save it to. I've already got one here called color themes, but I can switch to a different one. It's also asking if I want to publish it to color.adobe.com so that other people can use it. And you can choose to do that or not. I'm not going to in this case, and I'm just going to click save. And now it's saved and it brings me back into my live camera. I'm going to go ahead and click the X to get out of that. And I can see all the different color themes that are in this particular library. I want to give that a new name. So I'm going to click the little three dots next to the name. Then I'm going to choose rename and we'll call that Sherbet and click Save. Now I can click on it and I can click the little pencil down below and I could go ahead and make any final edits I want to on the colors. But it all looks good to me, so we're gonna go ahead and just jump into InDesign. Back in InDesign, we wanna open our CC Libraries panel. If it's not already open, go up to the Window menu, choose CC Libraries, and from there we'll wanna choose which library we need. Mine's already chosen. And I can scroll down and find the theme that we just created. If you can't find it, you can always search in your current library. I'm also going to open up my swatches panel and I want to add the colors that we just created. Now I can roll over an individual color and add just that color or I can add the entire theme. Let's do just a color first. I'm going to control click or right click on a color and choose add color to swatches. And it adds that individual red. What I really wanted to do was add that entire theme. So I'm going to right click or control click and this time I'm going to choose add theme to swatches and it adds it to my swatches. I can change the color group, I can change the color names, I can remix them. They're just normal colors that are now here in my document. And because they're normal colors, I can just go ahead and select an item and start applying that color. I'm going to undo that. And I'm also going to undo adding the theme to the color swatches. Sometimes we need to share this color group with people without sharing the library. Maybe they don't have CC or they're not allowed to use CC libraries. There's a couple different ways we can do that. We can jump over to color.adobe.com, make sure that we're signed into our Adobe account, and come into My Themes, choose the library, and scroll down till you find the color theme that you want. In this case, here's the sherbet that we just created. I can just click this little download link. It's going to download an ASE file. In this case, here's our Adobe Color Sherbet ASE file. I can then send that file to the person that needs it. Back in InDesign, I would come over to my Swatches panel, choose Load Swatches, navigate out to that ASE file and choose open. And it brings it in as an entire color group. We can also save that color group right back out. I can click on the color group, go up to the panel menu, choose save swatches, give it a name, click save. Then when I create a new document, I can load the swatches into here and there's that color group. So that's the quick and easy way to grab colors from out in the real world, bring them into your InDesign documents and even share them with other people. I hope you found this video helpful. For thousands more InDesign tutorials and articles, be sure to visit InDesignSecrets.com. 
There you can subscribe to InDesign Magazine and our free tip of the week email. Thanks for learning with us.